Hi everyone. For several days already, I received private messages about a video clip I posted on Facebook. In that video clip, I showed how I edited my power presentation with voiceover generated using Speechalo. Speechalo is an online text-to-speech application where you can generate human voice. Now, you will be wondering that I have a different voice here in this tutorial. I use Speechalo in creating the voiceover of this tutorial. So I will show you how I did it. The first thing to do is to make a complete set of PowerPoint slides for your lesson of the day. Second, prepare your voiceover script for each slide. Once your voiceover script is ready, log in to speechalo.com by entering your account details. After logging in, you will be redirected to the online blaster application of Speechalo. As you can see on the screen, the window of the training video is covering the main screen. Just click the X mark on the upper right side of your screen to exit the window of the training video. On screen, you can see the online application of Speechalo. Move the screen upward to view the space for entering your voiceover script per slide. On the right side of the screen, you can find the language, voice, and AI tone settings. For me, I choose US English for the language, Billy Joey to have a male voice, and set the AI tone to a friendly tone. Now, I copy my voiceover script for a single PowerPoint slide. I paste it on the space provided on the screen. I prefer to have space after each sentence for easy reading the text on the screen. Now, I add pauses before each sentence and after a comma to make it pleasant to hear the speech version of my script. The default length of a pause is 2 seconds, but you can adjust it by moving the button in a window that will pop up once you click the add pause button. After inserting pauses in the voiceover script, I press the generate voiceover bar on the left side, just under the voice setting menu. In a few seconds, a window comes out, telling me that the conversion is completed. Now, I move the screen higher, and you can see the download bar. By pressing it, the downloading will start. After downloading the voiceover, locate it in the download folder and change the file name to correspond to the PowerPoint slide number. For the rest of your voiceover script, just repeat the procedure. After converting all your voiceover scripts into audio files, insert them one by one on the corresponding slide of your PowerPoint presentation. After inserting the voiceover for every slide, you can now save your PowerPoint presentation into video format, PDF format, or a PowerPoint slideshow. 
These various formats of the material can be uploaded on your Google Classroom. Hence, your students to browse at any time. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for future videos. Thank you for watching.